from the 90s, the far right wing is reappearing strongly on the European scene. The increasing links with the institutional areas moved the gravity center of the European politics to the permanently more extreme, racist and xenophobic position. Today, a profound and significant crisis affects the European Union. There is an exponential growth of the far-right wing movements in countries across the Union, among them the most influential. Consider France with its National Front or Germany, who has experienced the growth of the far-right wing movement during the economic and social crisis. Consider Italy and the economic effects of these five years of crisis that have resulted in a move to the right less of the political parties than of everyday Italian life. Today there is a public consent to both the propaganda sector and the diffusion of certain discriminant elements of the citizenship among the population that would have been rather unimaginable until recently. On September 2013, Pavlos Fisos, an anti-racist Greek rapper, was killed in Athens. Public prosecutors drafted a report in which 69 members and supporters of Golden Dawn are accused of this murder. According to the investigations, Golden Dawn represent a neo-Nazi party openly attacking the democratic system. Italian extreme right parties and extra-parliamentary groups, which have always proposed racist and xenophobic rhetoric, are nowadays appropriating the idioms and images, which have always been a part of antagonistic left, revising them inappropriately, in a nationalistic, discriminatory and intolerant way. In November 2014, Sofia woke up with a surprise on the walls close to the Minister of Interior. Shame! because of all closed eyes against racism, sexism and xenophobia, was the strong sentence written on some posters on which three people were looking at the first smashing a swastika under them. The message was clear, a wake-up call for the authorities and the society to stand up against racism. In particular, in Europe, in particular, there is an increase of migration and, at the same time, the development of different forms of the crisis. Both produce in different societies the short circuit from the social point of view and from the point of view of the scene of identity and the citizenship, fostering the growth of the extremist forces. Some of them are old neo-fascist forces which restructure the appropriate ideologic arsenal to the anti-immigrant parties, the others are new political forces forces which were created as a new post-industrial right wing to represent these contradictions. It klopt. Dus ik vraag aan jullie: willen jullie in deze stad en in Nederland meer of minder Marokkanen? These are the words of Geert Wilders and his audience, the members of PVV, completely racist and xenophobic Dutch party. There are 26 ethnic communities and 34 different religious organizations in the north of the Republic of Serbia. The cultural diversity is an eternal characteristic of this region. But during the last decade, the peace of Vojvodina is diminishing because of the inter-ethnic conflicts which have taken the form of the hate graffiti, verbal attacks and threats, destruction of the cemeteries and monuments, nationalistic posters and physical attacks carried out by the far-right groups. Hungary's general xenophobia is underlined by a study in which people were asked whom they did not want in their neighborhood and in their country. More than two-thirds voted for Pyrenians, a fictitious nationality invented to test Hungarian irrational hostility. On the 12th of July 2012, police entered a building in the multicultural neighborhood Poplano, Barcelona, and informed the people living there that they must vacate it within four days. Neither official notice or formal audience was shown. The network support settlement, composed by different associations of the civil society and migrants, immediately denounced the action to the police. It was not respecting any legal procedure for the eviction. In the last 20 years, the variety of right forces in the European continent being characterized as nationalistic, populist, ethnocentric has increased. 
However, they all have common features of the opposition to the multi-ethnic society, Islamophobia. In this context, there is also a darker part, represented by the neo-Nazi structures, but with a new element. During the last years, they are not just the witnesses, but they gain the votes. I think we need to pay back now more than ever the idea of the anti-racist type of engagement in Italy and in Europe, because this is the place where the anti-fascism can survive and become useful during these years. On November 15, 2014, neo-Nazis walked through the streets of Wunzeidel, Germany, as they do every year. But the small town defended itself. Not with violence, but with an idea. Without the knowledge of participants, posters, banners and ground markings were put all along the demonstration route, giving it a look of the sporting event, complete with the motivational sayings and typical competition elements such as start and finish lines. Donate, walk. For every meter walk, 10 euros went to the Nazi opt-out programs Exit Deutschland, money that were collected from private persons, companies and NGOs beforehand. From the public point of view, the right and far right wing made use of the historical memory in order, in one hand, to renew their ideological and political identity, on the other, to connect the historically rooted values of their community to an actual political agenda, based especially on social exclusion. Let us think about the possibility that was given to the right wing and to its system of values to propose again a number of particularly virulent issues on the level of social exclusion and racism. No doubt that from the social point of view the public perception of civil coexistence itself is strongly modified due to this hegemony. Being an anti-establishment force is profitable in a society where many think that everything is rotten. Public hate speeches against certain communities are not only used by the right-wing extremists, but they are normalized in the daily vocabulary, inserted with common jokes and expressions. The aim of the far right is to mystify the real problems of unemployment, austerity measures and security perceived among the people as connected to a racial root. So we have, on one hand, groups that are openly neo-fascists and on the other hand, we have groups that are trying to renovate their discourses in the populist way. I'm not racist, but... The far right and the right wing parties are playing a game of social destruction on the head of a white civil society who face everyday serious problems connected to the neoliberalism system and policies. It's time to react, and the first reaction is to be aware of the real situation then being creative, united and strong. Above all, try always to be able to feel deeply any injustice committed against any person in any part of the world. It is the most beautiful quality of a revolutionary. Έγινε ο κόσμος μια μεγάλη φυλακή Κι εγώ ψάχνω έναν τρόπο τάδεσμα να σπάσω Έχω ένα μέρος που με περιμένει εκεί Σε μια πολύ ψηλή κοφή πρέπει να φτάσω Γι' αυτά πλώνω ξανά πολύ ψηλά τα δυο μου χέρια Για να κλέψω λίγο φως από τα λάβερα αστέρια Δεν αντέχω εδώ κάτω και κοντεύει να με πλήξει Των ανθρώπων η μιζέρια τόσο όσο και θλίψει Δεν αντέχω άλλο κι όλοι αυτοί δεν μου ταιριάξαν Πήρα τ' άλλο μόνο πράτη και όχι αυτό που μου χαράξαν Ήταν βρίσματο σκληρό και με παγίδες πολλές Αγάπες κάρτες και φίλοι φαρμάκες Είχε τέρατα με παράξενες στολές Που παράμουνε βαρβάτοτε κρυφά με στις σκιές Μήκοντος σταθείς Αυτός κοιτάζει 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 Αυτός κοιτ
the coordinator of the Budapest Peace Week, and this is our first real day of studying. So today we talk about right-wing extremism, and we had just a lecture from our colleague, Anikul Felix, and in the background you can see some of our participants. So we are really glad to be part of this project, and hopefully we will have a fantastic week together.